What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, based on some of your recommendations, I went out and bought a new printer. I needed a new printer, so thank you for the recommendation uh, to look at Epson. I bought an Epson, let's see, XP-310 wireless printer. And um, XP, huh? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I had no problems installing it in Windows 7. Flawless, completely dummies proof. It took all of five minutes to install it in the Windows, so thank you, Epson. In Ubuntu Linux, it took longer than it should. Can't really say it was dummies proof. Not difficult, but it took longer than it should. But let me show you what I did to install it in my Ubuntu 13.10. Go to the dash, type printers. Now ignore the Canon. I already have uh, this uh, still installed. This this Canon, by the way, beast of a machine. It must weigh like 5,000 pounds. Super reliable. It worked fine in both Windows and Linux, but I needed a new one. And really didn't want to go out and buy ink so I bought this wireless printer it is already installed the XP-310 now normally for the first time if you have no printers installed this would just be you know white space here click add go to network printer and it will search for now make sure that your you know printer is plugged in of course anyway XP right here I think I clicked pro but I don't think this is necessary but I did this anyway being that this is my very first wireless printer for both Windows and Linux searching for drivers okay fine click forward this is where we'll you know search for drivers and then it, it'll it, it will come up with installing before I believe it gets to this page now once you have it installed it will come to this page here click apply and print a desk and print a test page but this froze during the install process. Normally you would see a progress meter as you would in Windows and after five, ten minutes it just nothing happened so I gave up on this part. Let me go ahead and um, delete this. I don't need another icon here. So how I, what I did, I went to the uh, Synaptic Package Manager. Of course type in your password and this is where I did a search from here Epson and you can type in the number here but I think what I did I just scrolled down here and I just click mark for mark for reinstallation and that appeared to solve my issue again it took longer than it should kind of annoying but got it running now one thing about uh, installing printers in Linux they're not quite as um, functionality is not quite the same for example if you right click and go to properties okay settings policies I mean all this is fine here no problem you know quality option you can go to sometimes I'll print um, notes for the podcast I'll just go to draft and click OK job options the one thing I don't like ink and toner ink and toner levels it gives me nothing this is almost a deal breaker for me when it comes to Linux. Um, I still use it, but it doesn't give me a heads up of when it's time to either buy ink or search for another printer to buy. It works fine in Windows. Um, maybe there's a way around this. If you guys know, please let me know because I really, really miss this function. Anyway, that's it. Those are two ways to install printer drivers in Linux either the first way through the printer add the printer option or the second way is through the synaptic package manager now there are some other ways um, can't really say those are newbie ways or beginner ways to install printer drivers but these two ways the first way is definitely the easiest if it works the second way is through the synaptic package manager now some of you asked to do a uh, you know beginners videos on synaptic synaptic uh, that is coming up sometime in the future and that being said thank you so much for watching and listening and don't forget if you haven't already please vote for the best Linux OS for Windows users as XP is expiring April of this year thanks I'll catch you guys later